Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to another installment of Scout Selections here for Thursday, December 5th. Uh, before we get into today's play, that a quick recap of what happened yesterday. We ended up giving out a look ahead line on NFL matchup, and that was between the Tennessee Titans and the Oakland Raiders. So if you did not check out the video, you can, as it is currently uh, going to be the video right after this one in the playlist. But in terms of the play of the day, I didn't like anything on today's card once again. But I'll give a, uh, I won't give a, a look at a line for the weekend in terms of Saturday or Sunday. Instead, there's actually a basketball matchup in the NBA that I like in advance. Because I think this line is going to move. It's already started to move, and I think you should get some value on it now. And it will be between in a matchup between the Denver Nuggets and the Boston Celtics, as that matchup will be taking place tomorrow at 8 p.m. And it's actually going to be on ESPN. So you can actually watch the thing if you choose to bet it on regular cable. And for this game, we actually like the Celtics here, which is available at minus 3 at minus 110. And that is available on FanDuel, and that is the line we're going to be using. Now the main reason why uh, we like this spot here for the Celtics is based on the fact that the Nuggets, even though they blew out the Knicks by 39 points yesterday, they still had to play yesterday, and the Celtics had the day off. So the Celtics will have a rest advantage. The Celtics are 8-0 at home. They've been really good. And the Nuggets, even though they have a lot of talent with Jokic and Murray and some of their other key pieces, it doesn't change the fact that it seems like in all these step-up games that they have, they just underachieve. If you look at who they've actually beaten this year, mostly bottom-dwelling teams. They've had some matchups against the... I mean, they beat the Sixers earlier in this year, but for the most part, I mean, you're beating the likes of the Trailblazers, the Suns, the Kings... They beat the Celtics once by four points at home this season. I think the Celtics should be able to get revenge uh, at home, considering the fact that the Nuggets are going to be playing the second night of a back-to-back, -back and the Celtics are not. So based on that, I think the Celtics have a better rest, uh, better rest advantage, which is obvious, and the fact that the Celtics in TD Garden have one of the best home court advantages in the entire NBA. This line's already started to climb from three to three and a half, but it is still available at three at FanDuel. This line will probably close at four or so. You have to wonder if Denver will rest anybody. You have to wonder if Denver is going to be completely energy focused for all 48 minutes of this game. You kind of saw that in Boston's last game against Miami. Miami came out hot, but they just came off of a game against Toronto the day prior, and they ran out of steam, and the Celtics ran them out of the gym in the second half. I think you could see something similar in this game. I think this game should be very close, but I think the Celtics should be able to do enough to put this game away late. So the play that I will be on the Boston Celtics, which is available at minus three, which is available at minus 110 on FanDuel, and that will be the play of the day. Now, I know that the timing of these videos have been a little bit screwy over the last couple of days. We will resume the regular time in the early afternoon tomorrow. Just didn't like the cards, and based on that, I ended up kind of waiting until to make the video uh, till tonight. But I'll make a video sometime tomorrow, roughly, I'd say 1 p.m. or so, so stay tuned for that. Other than that, though, that's going to be this installment of Scott Selections here for Thursday, December 5th, and good luck to all of you and your respective bets today. Bye, everyone.